Hello everyone, welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. Today's topic is Syphilometrix. Syphilometrix, we know that it is the backbone of orthodontics. Uh, without Syphilometrix, uh, orthodontics is, uh, we cannot perform anything in orthodontics. Uh, we know that Syphilograms or Syphilometrix, we can use it for orthodontic diagnosis and treatment planning and also the classification of skeletal and dental abnormalities and also for evaluation of treatment results and also we can use it for predicting growth related changes and also changes which is uh, associated with surgical treatment so there are uh, n number of uses for cephalometrics in uh, orthodontics so today's session is about basic landmarks on the skull that is uh, cephalogram so various types of uh, landmarks are present uh, such as anatomical landmarks constructed landmarks that is like derived landmarks anatomical landmarks are which is actually present in the anatomic structure derived landmarks are uh, which is obtained secondarily from anatomic structures in a cephalogram so we construct it uh, another classification we can say hard tissue landmarks and soft tissue landmarks so that is uh, just introduction part so let's move on to the hard tissue landmarks so the first one we have nasion so this is nasion nasion is most anterior point midway between the frontal and nasal bone on the fronto nasal suture okay so this is a nasion point we have frontal bone we have nasal bone so it is the midway between frontal of and nasal bone and it is placed on the fronto nasal suture so you cannot see the suture here you can just see the uh, sides of frontal and nasal bone and keep in mind that it is between the frontal and nasal bone that is a nasion next one is orbitally orbitally is here orbitally is nothing but lowest point on the inferior bony margin of orbit so we know that we have two orbits that is why it is on right and left side so it is the lowest point on the inferior bony margin uh, of orbit okay so we have two uh, orbitally point next one is porion porion is here so porion is nothing but highest bony point on the upper margin of external auditory matter so this is porion so we have covered nasion orbitally and porion Porion is highest bony point on the upper margin of external auditory matrix. So somewhere here it is external auditory matrix is coming. So we are talking about heart tissue. Heart, heart tissue landmarks. Uh, we have soft tissue also. We are just co covering heart tissue landmarks. So that is Porion, highest bony point on the upper margin of external auditory matrix. Next we have Cella. Cella is here. This is Cella. Tursica. Cella Tursica is nothing but the point represents the midpoint of pituitary fossa that is constructed point in the mid sagittal plane. It is a constructed point, not anatomical one. It is a constructed point. It is the midpoint at the mid sagittal plane of pituitary fossa or Cella Tursica. So that is uh, Cella Tursica. So we have Cella Tursica here. Now we have point A. This is point A, which is also uh, known as subspinal. Point A is also known as subspinal. It is the deepest point in the midline between anterior nasal spine and alveolar crest between the upper central incisor. Okay, it is deepest point in the midline between anterior nasal spine. So this is anterior nasal spine and alveolar crest between two central incisors. So this is one central incisor so between two central incisor alveolar crest and anterior nasal spine so this is point a deepest point in the maxillary bone anterior uh, anterior region now we have point b so point b is here so point a so point a point b is the deepest point in the midline between alveolar crest of mandible and mental process so we know that it is the deepest point in the mandible exactly we can say that it is between the two central incisors uh, between alveolar crest of mandible 
similarly point a between the uh, alveolar crest of uh, incisors this is mandible and this is maxilla that is point a and point b point a and point b point b is also known as supramental because it is between the mental process and alveolar crest of mandible uh, on on the midline so both a and b present on the midline next we have basion this is a basion point basion is nothing but median point of anterior margin of foramen magnum so foramen magnum is coming somewhere here so it is a anterior uh, anterior uh, margin that is a median point of anterior margin of foramen magnum similarly bolton point bolton point is the highest point at the post contalar notch of occipital bone this is the bolton point so we have covered basion bolton bolton is nothing but highest point at the post contalar notch of occipital bone so we know that it is the back side of the skull occipital bone will be covering this side Okay, the most posterior point one of the most posterior point is bolton point now we have anterior nasal spine this is the anterior most portion of maxilla uh, it is a very sharp bony process and it is also in the midline okay so anterior most portion of maxilla in the midline is anterior nasal spine so we cover anterior nasal spine and next is gonion so we know gonion is here it is a constructed point, not an anatomical uh, point. Constructed point at the junction of ramal plane and mandibular plane. So we have uh, ramal plane here, mandibular plane is when it is joining here, it is gonion. So gonion will be on both right and left side. So it will be two. Next we have pogonion. It is the most anterior point. You can see here pogonion, most anterior point. Uh, on bony chin and the medial plane so there are a lot of structures uh, medial plane like point a point b pogonio pogonio is the most anterior point but menton is the most inferior midline point so this is menton most inferior so we have covered pogonio and menton menton is the most inferior pogonio is the most anterior next we have nation so nation is coming in between it is the most anterior inferior point okay so this is most anterior this is most inferior so this is anterior inferior point okay that is nation so next is coming articular articular is here you can see articular okay articular is nothing but point at the junction of posterior border of ramus and the inferior border of basilar part of occipital bone so occipital bone is coming here so occipital bone and this ramal plane is joining here it is the uh, junction of posterior border of ramus this is the posterior border of ramus and inferior border of basilar part of occipital bone so we know that occipital bone is coming here so the inferior portion so inferior portion joins here so inferior basilar part of occipital bone and posterior ramus that is articular and it is also bilaterally present next we have condylon condylon is the superior point on the head of the condyle okay so condylon is superior point on the head of the condyle and it is also bilaterally present next we have prostheon okay prostheon Prostheon can see here prostheon. Prostheon is nothing but the lowest and most anterior point on the alveolar bone in the midline between upper central incisor. It is also called supradentale. So also known as supradentale between the maxilla. It is nothing but lowest and most anterior point on the alveolar bone of midline between upper central incisor. So also known as supradentale. The posterior nasal spine is the most posterior uh, point of maxillary bone, uh, which is like a continuation of anterior wall of pterygo palatine fossa, anterior wall of pterygo palatine fossa. 
and floor of the nose next we have glabella so glabella is here glabella is we know that it is a not a hard tissue landmark which is a soft tissue landmark glabella is a soft tissue landmark which is the most prominent point in the mid sagittal plane of forehead so this is glabella this is soft tissue mark so we have covered pns gonion procyon so that is uh, glabella uh, porion pogonion menton uh, nation gonion now we have uh, another point which is known as infradentale so this is infradentale uh, this is infradentale infradentale uh, which is also known as inferior prostheon inferior prostheon which is uh, the most superior and anterior point most superior and anterior point on mandibular alveolar process between uh, central incisor okay so it is uh, nothing but most superior and anterior point superior and anterior point on mandibular alveolar process between uh, central incisor that is infra uh, dentale uh, which is present in the uh, mandible uh, the last point is ptm point so this is ptm point so here you can see ptm point so ptm is also bilaterally present which is nothing but present on the pterygo maxillary fissure at the most inferior point of pterygo maxillary fissure is ptm so this is ptm uh, so that's all about uh, the landmarks we have covered almost uh, all the landmarks uh, glabella nasion orbitale ans pns point a uh, procyon intradentale point b pogonion nation menton gonion Bolton point, Bayesian point, articulate, Sella torsica, PTM point, Porion and Contele point. So these are the basic cephalometric uh, landmarks, hard tissue and soft tissue. So soft tissue we didn't not have much, that is only glabella is here. And some are uh, unilateral and some are bilateral. This is very vital in understanding on the, uh, all the analysis. We have more analysis coming up, Downs analysis strainers and tweets analysis so we need to understand basic uh, lock, basic points the landmarks and its location exactly then only we will uh, get the idea of all the analysis i'll come up with the analysis in my next sessions so thank you